Okay, so when we're taking photos of our client's lips, again, use your grid. You wanna zoom right in, get it in the center. Try and get rid of the nose in the photo. Tap, take your photo. These are really nice as well from the side. Um, if my client's got quite a bit of swelling, a little tip for you is to angle back even more than you normally would. And you can see when I angle back, it reduces the size of the top lip. You see if I'm this way, her top lip looks much bigger. Tilt it back, it looks much smaller. So it's a really good way of disguising swelling. These are really nice as well. So just come to the side and take your photo. These are what I see a lot of, like this, or shots like this, where we're literally looking up our client's nostrils. And again, just not a very attractive photo, and it just takes the focus away from the lip. So try and, again, it's just on top or slightly back. If my client's lips are really swollen, and I don't get a very nice photo, what I normally would do is just do a little tonic soak on them just for five, 10 minutes, and then uh, take my photos after that because it'll calm the skin and the swelling right down. So don't take them and post them if there's bruising or they're really swollen out of shape because it's, um, it's not gonna attract new clients. And then if you wanna do Kind of a further away one again just make sure your client's chin is up and it's not down because you don't want to see a double chin